dear students in this class we have to discuss another type of problem that means inscribing a regular pentagon inside the given circle of radius 30 mm first we have to understand what you mean by inscribing here a definition is here a definition which means that draw a figure within another so that their boundaries touch but do not intersect here this first figure shows this is a circle and this figure shows it is a red it is a triangle that means we can say that a triangle is fixed inside the circle such a type of construction is called inscribing inscribing here we have to do the a problem that means inscribing a regular pentagon what do you mean by a pentagon we know that we have already learned that pentagon is a five sided plane figure five sided five sided plane figure that means this is the shape of pentagon you can say numbered as 1 2 3 4 5 so we can say that this is a pentagon this is a pentagon okay now how to draw this pentagon inside the circle okay now listen by the help of your compass first take a 30 mm radius 30 mm radius in your compass and draw a circle of radius 30 mm now we have completed a circle of radius 30 mm its center point is marked here through this center point we can draw a two perpendicular bisector in vertical direction and horizontal direction now i draw a vertical line through this center point that means this is a vertical line now draw another horizontal line passing through this center point passing through this center point. first line is marked as pq and second line as rs meeting at a common point this is common point this is called o now draw a bisector of ro distance this distance is called ro now we have to draw a bisector of r o that means take more than half length of the r o in your compass draw an arc here and here then reset your compass point on o draw another two more arcs at upper and lower side upper and lower side that arc will intersect the previous one then we have to get a two common point this is called a and b through a and b we can draw a bisector line bisector line now this intersecting point is marked as t this intersecting point is marked as t now once again take your compass and set a radius pt in your compass pt in your compass pt is your radius and erect the compass point on t t as center draw a radius draw a 
arc from P. Draw a arc from P. That arc cut the RS line. RS line here. RS line here. This point is called U. This point. Now, with the help of your compass, set a radius P U in your compass with P as center. Draw an arc. That arc cut the circle at both sides, and that arc pass through the point U. Then we have to get a two points at the boundary of the circle. This point is marked as this is called C and this is called E. Now with the same radius we can draw another two more arc with the same radius. With the C as center we can draw another arc here. Similarly with the same radius we can draw another arc here. Another arc here. Finally with E as center draw an arc here. Similarly we can draw another arc here. Now this point is marked as this point is called B and this point is called A and this is called D. Now we have to join all the points all the points. See we are have to connect A and B. Similarly we have to connect B and C, C and D, A and E, and E and D. Now we have to complete our required pentagon of radius. What is the exact radius of the circle? We know that. Its so radius is 30. Its so radius is 30. Okay. Now we have complete our required pentagon. Okay.